to my morning routine living in a van this is van life episode one and i got some comments last time asking me if i moved out of my apartment no i did not i'm just doing this because i just randomly decided to impulsive decisions so that's just what you got yourself into welcome back Obviously, I start off by waking up like not duh. Six in the morning and the sun is still down, which is beautiful. I'm just gonna get up and stretch because being in a van, there is space. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh, I'm in this beautiful campsite right now where you can like sleep because in a van you can't just park anywhere. So I'm gonna go outside, take some fresh air. I just got my Stanley cup with me because first thing I love to do is drink water, y'all. I love water so much. Alrighty guys, so it is currently 7 in the morning till the sun is finally out. It was one of my first steps for my morning routine. I always love to go out and stretch. I've been living in this van for 3 days by the way, so I've learned to do like that little routine. My next step is either I eat if I'm super hungry or I just take a shower. And today I woke up super hungry, so I'm going to cook myself some breakfast. Let me turn on my light because it's a little kind of, it's a little dark, not gonna lie. Let me wash my hands since I was outside. Let's go ahead and try to pick out some fruit outside for my breakfast today. I'm looking for some strawberries to make like a something cute with some strawberries. You know what I mean? Let's go outside. Oh, y'all, these strawberries look delicious. Maybe don't do this in real life, but I'm gonna do it. Definitely gonna wash them really good though. Let me give it a taste. They're so sweet and that was definitely a risk because I haven't washed them But I mean these are naturally grown, right? Anyways, if I end up in a hospital, we all know why Now I got some strawberries. Hopefully I don't get poisoned from these. So let me go ahead and wash them We should be fine. Now let's figure out what we're gonna make for breakfast today I have a cooler down here that works and doubles as a freezer and a fridge I found some oatmeal that we can go ahead and heat up and have as a delicious breakfast this morning I've decided that by adding blueberries and some strawberries really enhances the flavor because oatmeal's alone, I'm not the biggest fan. As well as adding some honey. For today's breakfast, I decided to also pair my oatmeal with some fresh orange juice. Call me crazy, but I love fresh orange juice, all right? Bon appetit. Let's go ahead and eat. After I'm done eating, I'm going to start by washing the dishes and then cleaning the van. Because it is such a small place, it can get very messy really quickly and it can make me feel very cluttered and I don't really like a lot of clutter. I like being spacious. So I'm going to make the most out of this space by cleaning it up. Luckily, it's just a small van, so it should not take me more than 30 minutes to clean up in total. Let's go! Sparkly clean. Officially time for me to start getting ready. It is around 8.20 in the morning and this is the time where I start getting ready for the day. Today, I don't really have to do much. I'm just gonna explore the world in my van. I do have to do some laundry and I am right next to a laundromat. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and take advantage of it and go do my laundry right now because... These last three days, I don't know how I managed to wear so much clothes, but I'm just gonna get some laundry. Thing. Sooner or later, start running out of clothes. Got my detergent, of course, and my dirty clothes that needs to get washed. I just came back from the laundromat and it was only a three minute walk because it's just three minutes away. Finally, my clothes is nice, clean and dry and then also folded. So now I'm going to store it away. Okay, that's finally out of the way. We can officially start getting ready now. First things first, gotta hit up the bathroom. It's a mile away, by the way, if you didn't know. Just kidding. It's right next to my bed.
So I'm finally done getting ready. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a cute pink top and a very cute denim skirt. I am loving this outfit and the vibes. I try to go with the very natural makeup look just because it is a little hot and all my makeup is literally just gonna melt away. Let me put on some deodorant because I kind of smell a little bit. Alrighty. <laughs> Since they're fruit outside, I'm going to make some jam. I brought out this very special pot that is specifically made for making jam. So let's begin. There we go, you guys. I ended up making some tomato paste thing because I decided that later I want to eat some pasta. And that was the only fruit I could find outside. Well, vegetable, my bad. Don't start coming from me. Oh my God, am I gonna get canceled for that? <laughs> Besides the point, I have a huge mess outside of the van that I obviously need to clean up before I leave. So let's clean that up and pack up the van so we can go put some gas and go to the beach. Yay! Okay, you guys, the van is all packed up and we can officially start hitting the road. Let's go. Because then traffic's gonna come in. I don't like traffic one bit. to one of my favorite places on earth the beach y'all i'm gonna just read a book and probably take a dip but that's pretty much it all i do for my morning routine while living in a van let me know what other van videos you guys want to see from me i will be returning back to my apartment don't worry you guys i just decided to take a little break from my apartment in the town and just go off the grid for a bit well yeah i really do hope you guys did enjoy and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget that i love you guys so much and god loves you so much consider following me on all my social media platforms they will all be linked in the description or on screen thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me really truly means a lot and i really want you guys to know that i love you guys so much make sure you guys get some rest and i i hope you're doing okay and that's pretty much it you guys i'll be waiting for you guys in the next one so don't leave me there hanging and whenever i post click on it because i'm waiting for you bye Doo -doo.